My research is about um, trying to find a molecular marker that can distinguish severe dengue patients from dengue fever patients. The reason is, um, during a dengue outbreak, we would have somewhere around 50,000, 70,000 cases, and dengue fever patients come into the hospital, and we cannot tell who's going to get severe dengue. Severe dengue patients could die from it. Because of that, we would hospitalize them, monitor them carefully. Um, if we can monitor them, if we can manage fluid intake, then we could make sure that the outcome is better for those patients. So we will hospitalize all of them. If I can find an early marker that can tell me who's going to get severe dengue, then we would be able to hospitalize less people. Others could go home and recover without um, putting a burden on the resources. Since this is mosquito born and since these mosquitoes do survive in large areas, larger part of the world, it does put large part of the world at risk to get dengue. And if people get dengue, people could get severe dengue. And during an outbreak, everyone will face similar kind of problems. I did um, benefit from the free education in my country and I wanted to give something back to my country. In our regions, a lot of the times the, uh, the intellectuals are actually going out of the country. They're not staying in the country. We spend a lot of money on our education, but people are not retained because it doesn't go anywhere after that. You could become a teacher at university level, school level, but that's the end of it. But if we train students at this level, they will remain in the country, they'll develop new technologies that could be used in our region. Our country is heavily dependent on technologies, products from other countries. We are not producing new technologies and we are not making commercial products like that. So if I can change that culture, if I can get people to start doing that in our country, that would be probably would be the greatest accomplishment for me. The major problem in public research is, number one, is limited resources, because even if we get one grant and get some equipment, that's not enough. Uh, we don't have the infrastructure. The infra infrastructure is not well developed. And a lot of the grants within the country will not support developing further infrastructure. This type of a grant supports us to set up the required infrastructure to do the kind of research that we have to do at international level. If I have an international level laboratory, then the data that I develop, that I generate in my lab would be the kind of data that is accepted by the greater research community. So I can publish them at international level and that will give me greater exposure and validity for the products that uh, I'm eventually trying to develop from it. Um, this grant, I'm, I am using it to get the equipment that I need to um, find a molecular marker and I'm using the funds to um, support sample collection, sample analysis, and also to train the students to be able to do this work. And hopefully, uh, the markers that I find, I'd be able to test them in a larger sample pool and then maybe develop a commercial product from it. Definitely, uh, without linking with the industry, we will not be able to commercialize such a product and make it massively available. So one example is right now in Sri Lanka, in November itself, we have reported 70,000 cases of dengue. Uh, university level, at research level, we cannot have enough kits to screen all the people to see who, is, who can benefit from hospitalization. We do need to link with the industry. And this grant obviously will support at least the initial process of setting up that. At research level, I am using uh, very sophisticated methods, but uh, as part of this project, after I find a marker that can tell me who's going to get severe dengue, I am trying to develop a method that can be used at resource limited settings. So we don't need any new equipment and we'll use uh, low cost reagents and it would be a marketable product, but it would be a low cost marketable product. Um, I have filed patent applications uh, for three different markers that can uh, distinguish severe dengue from uh, dengue fever uh, cases. Uh, we patented it because we do want to eventually try to commercialize it. And if we have the patent, we'd be able to keep it low cost 
and then negotiate with the industry to uh, keep it at that uh, level. If, uh, if we don't patent it, if someone else take it, they can uh, hike up the prices. Mm -hmm.